What kind of leadership do we need to establish or create a sustainable city? And I think it actually boils down to one thing from my perspective, which is the ability to think in an integrated way, to understand the components of sustainability. That does not mean that I'm against and we are against the actual knowledge within a department, a specialist department. But the real insight usually comes and the projects that can actually show sustainability that in turn drives behaviour often are ones that are collaborative. So what, what are the essential ingredients for effective collaboration between the public, private and community sectors? I think, I can be very simplistic about this, it's the capacity to listen is probably the first. The willingness and capacity to listen. But when I say listen, I don't just mean let's listen, but listen. Obviously, this requires respect, or respect grows out of the capacity to listen. And once you've got the listening capacity and respect, then you're beginning to get a situation where there's the potential for people to harness their imagination, to harness their knowledge and, 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 and creativity. So that may be a simplistic answer, but I think that is, the, the, for me, the key starting point. What cities need to do to make themselves attractive to investors is actually more or less the same as what they need to do to make themselves attractive to their own citizens. Because the issues that citizens like, love and so on is a combination of factors. They want a place that feels stable, a sense of anchorage, a sense of distinctiveness and all of that. They want a sense of possibility when they look at the city. They want to feel this place is really connected with the world. It's all smart and seamlessly connected as we wander around. They want to have sort of the possibility to grow at a personal level. And they want to be inspired. And all of that generates some sort of level of excitement. That is actually also what investors want. So basically, creating an environment where people together can think, plan and act with an imagination, where they can talk, meet, play together. It's that type of thing. Let's assume those basic infrastructures are all there. Good transport systems, it's a pleasant place and so on. If you then say, well, what is the extra, that extra dimension that gives a place a twist, acts as a catalyst and so on, what you have to say, in the end, it's distinctiveness. That you go to this place, you feel it's got the things you need, but then you say there's an extra thing which is really the essence of that place. Because the danger about globalization, on the one hand, it, in principle, can be exciting. The big danger is dreadful, boring blandness, where everything looks and feels the same.